Boris Johnson has intervened in an escalating row over the EU's block on vaccine exports to Australia. Downing Street has warned Brussels to abide by its commitments to send jabs manufactured on the continent to the rest of the world as it warned export bans risked endangering the recovery from the pandemic. Yesterday Italy announced it had blocked the shipment of 250,000 AstraZeneca jabs to Australia. The decision was made after approvals from the European Commission. Commission President Ursula von der Leyen had previously told Mr Johnson the EU had no intention to stop the exports of any vaccines. The Prime Minister's official spokesman said this afternoon, we would expect the EU to continue to abide by its commitments. The global recovery from coronavirus relies on international collaboration. We are all dependent on global supply chains. Putting in place restrictions endangers global efforts to fight the virus. Italy's decision to block exports of the Oxford vaccine came just hours after Mr Johnson spoke to Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi on the phone about the importance of the vaccine being rolled out across the globe. A number 10 spokesman said, the leaders discussed the important role the G7 and G20 will play in helping the international community build back better from the coronavirus pandemic. They agreed on the importance of a coordinated agenda between the two summits to learn lessons from the pandemic, roll out the coronavirus vaccine around the world and prepare for future pandemics. France's health minister Olivier Véran today warned it too could follow Italy and ban exports. In January the EU introduced compulsory export licenses on all vaccines due to leave the block in light of a row between the Commission and AstraZeneca. The drugs manufacturer warned its supplies of the covered jab to the continent would be lower than promised due to manufacturing issues. There were fears the introduction of the licenses would mean a block on doses of the Pfizer injection, which is made in Belgium, being sent to the UK, Ms von der Leyen said at the time. Protecting the health of our citizens remains our utmost priority, and we must put in place the necessary measures to ensure we achieve this. However, Italy's ban comes despite them sitting on a stockpile of AstraZeneca jabs. According to EU data, over 1.5 million doses of the Oxford vaccine have been sent to Rome. However, just 322,000 of those in the country have been administered. The temporary export license scheme was due to expire on the 31st of March. However, the EU is now planning to extend the scheme until the end of June. Brexiteers have said the latest move by the EU further vindicated the UK's decision to quit the bloc. Former Brexit party Met Ben Habib told, All I can say is thank goodness for Oxford University, AstraZeneca and for having left the EU he added. The EU sought to prevent exports of the vaccine from Europe to the UK by, amongst other things, invoking Article 16 of the Northern Ireland Protocol, putting a so-called hard border on the island of Ireland, something it said it should never happen. It quickly reversed that approach in the face of public outrage. It then proceeded to badmouth the vaccine and in doing so undermined confidence in it. There are 20 million doses of unused AstraZeneca vaccine in storage across the EU. Now, all of a sudden, they are preventing again the vaccine from leaving Europe. The EU has created complete confusion in its vaccination program.